Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 17th of January through to Sunday the 23rd of January 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So Aquarius just before we have a look at your overarching crowning message I just would like to share your channeled message I received whilst meditating for this reading. So the message that I received for you was um, around holding your peace or to show peace, show peace, show peace uh, or compassion, let go of something or forgive or ask for forgiveness, okay? Um, but at this time, Aquarius, I felt as if healing is required, okay? And the, the kind of healing that you need is a spiritual healing, all right? Um, and if you can connect with yourself, divine spirit universe, all right? Um, and ask for that spiritual healing, it almost feels as if everything would just like just disappear really. Um, for many of you, you are a lot stronger than you think, okay? Um, and you'll be surprised, you'll be surprised once you seek that spiritual healing, let go of what doesn't serve you and hold your peace, okay? Whoever you're connecting with, Aquarius, I feel that they also want peace or resolution in whatever situation you are in with them. Now, this could be somebody that you've been in a long-term committed relationship or married to, or they see you as somebody that's long-term commitment, marriage material. This person has definitely um, retreated, done a lot of thinking, a lot of deep thinking, and I feel that this person uh, wants to come in and clear something up with you, all right? Um, and that's their way of bringing about some sort of peace, all right? So that's your <coughs> channeled message, Aquarius. As we are approaching a full moon on Monday the 17th, your full moon card, um, in Aquarius says to be real, be real, okay? So what I am picking up with this card is that as we approach that full moon, um, as we ride that energy of the full moon, which is all about revealing things that we need to see, okay? Illuminating um, things that we need to see so that we can grow, learn and evolve, okay? Um, for many of you, it almost feels as if you're being guided to be almost real with yourselves, okay? Many of you uh, need some sort of spiritual healing, but unless you be real with yourself um, and acknowledge to let something go, to forgive yourself, forgive others, um, and seek out that spiritual healing, um, you'll be really, really surprised um, at the results, I feel. So it's almost like I feel be real with yourselves, Aquarius, this week, um, more than anything, okay? All right, let's um, have a look and see how this connects with your crowning messages. Oh, thank you. So, oh, look at that. First card out, Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive, yeah. I feel many of you are being guided with uh, Swan Spirit to go deep. I mean, with Swan Spirit, um, you know, the swan looks really, really beautiful, very graceful. Um, when you see them, you know, floating on that water, very like in control, um, very graceful. And many of you may be portraying that. But what people may not be seeing is underneath these lily pads, underneath the water, um, the swan's feet are kicking really frantically. And that's possibly what's going on with you, all right? And I feel that you're being guided to be real with yourself. And it's time to really take a deep dive of what it is that you are kind of, you know, paddling so fast towards or away from all right it's definitely time to be real and take that deep dive view of whatever situation you are in 
with armadillo uh, spirit set healthy boundaries i feel that this is uh, healthy boundaries around yourself actually um healthy boundaries to uh be real with yourself to uh seek that spiritual guidance but also to let go let go of any i suppose false masks let go of um any low vibrational energy but it feels like you're being guided to set healthy boundaries around your own thoughts around your own feelings uh it's like let it go if you need to like i say your channeled message came through that if you need to forgive somebody or ask for forgiveness or um it's like your the, the act of forgiveness is something um really important uh to set that healthy boundary um and sometimes you know if i mean it's definitely a spiritual healing uh situation that you're on i mean just ask your spirit team ask your spirit team how do you invoke that act of forgiveness whether it's forgiveness of self or self-compassion or forgiveness of others but the key thing is is like it almost feels as if you need to surround yourself with that healing light that divinity within you ask divine spirit universe your spirit teams to just almost like i almost feel like saying like give you a cuddle like give you a cuddle um and just surround you with that beautiful uh, white light of uh, healing, of comfort, of peace, so that they can show you how to go deep, how to be real with yourself, how to set healthy boundaries around your mind, your soul, your heart, your spirit, so that you can receive this spiritual be um, healing, okay? Um, and I feel many of you will be really, really surprised at the healing that will come in this week okay so set those healthy boundaries about your uh, around your thoughts of whatever the situation that you are in right now okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine click thank you and your final card that has come out is oh and sandpiper spirit be playful so many of you i feel that you're being guided to connect with that inner child within yourself um to bring some light-heartedness into your week okay um many of you may need to just bring some jolly or merriment energy around you or the person that you're connecting with in order i feel to help set healthy boundaries around any low vibrational energy okay because it's almost like whatever it is you need to be real to yourself about um and go deep it, it feels as if it's going to you know it feels like it's going to be quite painful actually aquarius it feels like it's going to be quite painful so i feel with um sandpiper spirit coming here um kind of almost asking that this is a time to bring some merriment to bring some fun um some laughter some goofing off um in your environment or the person that you're connecting with uh it almost feels as if it will it will give a bit of a balance between whatever it is that's deep that you need to go deep and be real with yourself okay and then let go of it. it it's like you have to almost do a bit of both um still kind of bring some light-hearted energy and some yeah it's, it's almost like that's what's going to help you hold your peace yeah as you look deep be real with yourself put some boundaries around any kind of low vibrational energy of yourself or anybody around you okay as you go deep because it feels like it's going to be uh, a bit painful and that's why the healing that you require is not healing of a doctor it's a healing of a spiritual nature all right and for many of you you may be really surprised um that as you let go of whatever it is you need to hold your peace about or ask for forgiveness give forgiveness um the surprise may be that you may end up bringing in a real playful energy um 
almost like a renewal, a renewal of self, a renewal of the connection. Let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom message is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question. How does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 17th of January through to Sunday the 23rd of January 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good, thank you, of the greater good of all. And look at that, Beta, Spirit of Wolf. Okay. Same card that's at the back of the cards, really beautiful, beautiful energy here. I feel that many of you are being guided with um, spirit of wolf coming in to see deep within your heart space, allow divine spirit um, as you connect to go deep, to go deep into your heart, go deep into your heart and um, allow yourself to be real with yourself, okay? What's going on in your heart? What is it that really does need healing? And I feel as you... Um, connect with divine spirit universe your higher self you will get that spiritual healing i feel that many of you are being guided that that's what the situation calls for all right many of you you may also uh be guided with beat of spirit wolf um to rest yeah to rest to connect okay ground yourself um, almost kind of ground yourself and focus on motivation behind whatever it is this deep dive is going to unearth, um, unearth as you be real to yourself, okay? Many of you, this is a transition of um, maybe even taking down a mask of how you're truly feeling about a situation, uh, being real with yourself. Um, it, it's like it's part of your transformation. Remember I was saying that many of you, uh, as you let go of a situation, um, ask for forgiveness, ask for self-forgiveness, ask for passion, uh, compassion, uh, hold your peace. Uh, many of you, the transition is that you're you're gonna almost end up bringing in some merriment, some um, some joy back into your life. Um, you know, goofing off, um, light heartedness, um, finding that joy again. Okay, um, many of you, it also feels with a uh, spirit wolf here um, that as you go through this transition. Many of you may feel very uncertain, okay? A, yeah, a bit of uncertainty is what I'm picking up because whatever it is that you need to almost um, be real to yourself about or maybe even be real to whoever you're connecting with, um, setting those healthy boundaries around, you know, that monkey mind or um, any low vibrational energy, um, it will enhance um, your instinct, your intuition, so that you can be present um, to receive that spiritual healing, okay? With Beta of Spirit Wolf as well, it also lets you know that you are very resourceful. Like I said in your channeled message, uh, many of you are a lot stronger than you realise, okay? And I feel that the beta waves that are going through um, via Spirit Wolf is, is stimulating that spiritual connection with Divine Spirit, but also with yourself, yeah? Um, it's all about recalibrating spirit wolf is all about recalibrating what is going on within that heart space and so that is why it feels as if 
uh, Aquarius, whatever it is that needs to be healed, whatever it is that is your situation, it's not something like um, in our reality of like having a heart to heart or a discussion. This is this requires spiritual healing. It may even just require you to just retreat for a little while maybe go into meditation or go for those long walks. However it is you connect with divine spirit universe, your higher self, that's what you're being guided to do because you're going through a transition, a transition of letting go something that is very, very painful, I feel. And the only way that you can do that is being totally, totally, totally real and honest with yourself. And whoever obviously is connecting with you, um, they want to also bring about some sort of peace or resolution. And I feel that this week um, they may come in and clear something up or they may observe when is the right time to have this conversation. Many of you may even already know that this conversation is coming your way. And that's possibly why... Um, with swan spirit, you may be anxious or panicky, but you are, in the eyes of everybody around you, you're dealing with the situation with grace, with beauty, with stillness, you know, but underneath that water, you know, you guys, you're, you're, you're like the swan, you're paddling really, really fast, anxious, a bit panicky. All right, Aquarius, if these if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to other aquariuses it also enables you to uh, get those notifications when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to uh, support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get a uh, useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading and so let's have a look now and see what your um, main love message is for this week my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 17th of January through to Sunday the 23rd of January 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. Any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle, um, Aquariuses, if they come out on camera, I will, um, I will call them out for you. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, thank, oh, thank you. Wow. So with the page of cups, it's interesting because. It looks as if it's you that's coming towards whoever you are connecting with, uh, with an apology or some sort of green light of um, you're open to talk or you are open to show some sort of uh, love or peace or kindness or compassion. Uh, for many of you with the Ten of Cups, whoever you're connecting with, you are their happiness. You are their uh, wish fulfillment. All right. Let's continue. Yeah, look at this. The Knight of Pentacles. Uh, many of you, I feel that um, this Knight, I feel that this is your energy. Again, coming towards this person, whoever you're connecting with, um, with a solid offer either a solid commitment or something that you're going to be real um, to yourselves about. Many of you, you may be real to this person, okay? So uh, we already know from your um, channeled message that this person uh, definitely wants to bring about some sort of peace, wants to clear something up 
uh, with you. Many of you, I feel that you will be open to that once you are real with yourself, um, bringing in some playful energy. Uh, I feel that you're coming forward to this person with some sort of solid truth or something solid that's real. Many of you, it could be an apology or some sort of token of love, a green light, maybe compassion. Yeah, we saw that holding your peace and be com being compassionate to yourself or this person is what's going to um, bring about this spiritual healing. Thank you and thank you. Three of Cups. So, um, hmm. For many of you, either you are going to, um, and then we've got the Eight of Wands, either many of you are going to want to, whatever it is that is real about the situation, real is that um, you may want to celebrate this connection, be around this person, okay? Um, or that there is um, a third party in this, in, in this connection, but I feel your person is coming in with communication, maybe quite quick, unexpected, but I feel that with the eight of wands, uh, you're both going to reciprocate, perhaps maybe in a very real, uh, a real heart to heart, a real conversation. But just remember what is required here is spiritual healing. Yeah. So many of you, if you can go on that journey of being real, okay setting some boundaries maybe just taking that time out to retreat and going deep okay to let go of a situation all right um that's gone on with you and this person to almost answer your spirit team for that spiritual healing whatever this transition is with spirit wolf coming in i feel that you're going to reciprocate communication yeah they're going to be communicating and I feel that you're going to reciprocate. Um, and it may be because, um, you know, this person may want to be around you, celebrate the connection, or there could be a third party um, energy that's going on. But let's let's get some clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? How does these soulmates of Aquarius sun moon rising thank you so the king of swords I feel with the king of swords um either this person either this person felt that um you had cut them out okay you had cut them out or they had cut something out or they want to talk about something. And if it was them that cut you out, I feel like they're open now to talk because many of you may give them the green light that you're ready to have this talk after you had done that deep dive of being real to yourself. Oh, so with the devil here coming, so it was something toxic Okay, something very low vibrational that went on. Either um, they said something to you that was, do you know what it feels like, Aquarius? Like this person may have had a little bit of a dig at you about something. Something that I feel possibly to do with a third party. Or they may have... Um, said something a little bit cut in a little bit cut a little bit sharp to trigger whether or not you're giving them the green light um to talk about maybe a third party energy and i feel that's why they want to bring in some sort of peace i feel like they might have like kind of cottoned on that whatever they said was kind of like a bit of a riddle it feels like a bit of a riddle like rather than just coming out and just saying something that they're concerned about they may have done it in a very yeah like a, a a bit of a low blow they may have said something that was a bit of a low blow yeah and i feel that many of you um will give them uh you'll show some compassion 
you show some compassion for whatever reason. Oh, oh, is that why? With the Queen of Cups, this is your energy, definitely, male or female. You have suppressed or you have pulled back um, any kind of loving gesture or any kind of love. I feel that there's love there in this connection, but you are definitely suppressing it. You're not giving that impression that you love this person. And so therefore they may have said, oh, you know, are you like, they may have said something a little bit, a bit of a low blow. And it may have to do with um, a third party. But I feel that you're being guided to set some healthy boundaries around it. Many of you may have to forgive this person or show some compassion. With the devil card here, you could be dealing with um, a, a, a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. Thank you. Hangman. Yeah, many of you, um, I feel that you're spiritually stagnant. It almost feels as if whatever they say to you, this week, you're going to try and um, not let it get to you. You're going to be reflecting on it, observing it, trying to let that go, suppressing your emotions. But you are going to, I feel that when you, it's all, okay, I'll tell you what, uh, what it feels like, uh, what I'm getting um, intuitively. It's like whoever you're connecting with is going to say something um, that's a little bit cutting, very, very toxic, okay, um, rather than coming straight and talking to them, like, they're not going to be real, okay, they're going to say something like a, a, like a, like they're, like they're poking the bear, trying to get an, a reaction from you, all right, and it may be to do with a third party, all right, and I feel that many of you are not going to rise to it, but you may retreat, to really think about it, to be real with yourself, to put some boundaries around any kind of toxic words or behaviours that they display. But it's like you're not going to show any emotion. You're not going to react. And many of you, I feel that um, this releasing of that hangman, is it's like you're going to try and let it go. And I feel that you're being guided to let it go. Um, but to be real with yourself, many of you may need to ask the question, why are they saying what they said? Why are they saying what they said? And so therefore, many of you are going towards this person with um, a solid, uh, a solid, um, compassionate conversation. Okay. Or initiating a, a, a solid conversation. Many of you may bring some playful energy. Oh, wow. So this person sees you as long-term commitment, marriage. That's you, and that's how they're seeing it. Or you guys could be married. So with the high priestess, there's something you're blocking. There's a delay. There's a delay in what... Oh, well, with the faith card... With the faith card, and uh, this is marriage, these two cards here, marriage, long-term commitment. There's something that you're blocking. You may be blocking going towards this person with um, a solid offer of resolution or uh, being real with them. And it's like this person is going to say something a little bit curt or cutting that is going to be, I feel like, either driven by fear or hurt but it's going to come out really like sarcastic really sarcastic but you're not going to react if there is a third party i feel whoever the third party is you feel that they are divinely guided into your life long-term commitment marriage you could be married to this person but whoever this third party is you may feel that that is your true soulmate or your ultimate soulmate but it also could uh represent that um you want peace yeah you you actually want to be around this person because you see this person as long-term commitment marriage you see them as divinely guided into your life 
but you're blocking with the high priestess it's almost as if you're blocking your in your intuition to resolve to bring peace to this situation once and for all is is you're blocking it there's a delay for some reason just know that you are in transition of whatever this situation is let's continue my angels and spirit guides oh you also could be dealing with a taurus or you could have taurus in your chart oh okay that's a lot of cards that came out there oh wow a lot of reversal oh, in fact all of them have come out reversed okay so with the strength card you could be dealing with the leo or you could have leo in your chart many of you may either be feeling weak to spend time with this person um because of what they have said um to celebrate this connection to bring about peace uh the strength in reverse is 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 feeling weak okay uh many of you either this person is marriage material or you're married to them with the king of uh, coins uh i feel that there is again there's some sort of blockage over a real conversation that i feel that they want to have with you but maybe they see that you're not being real with them which puts you in a, a position of feeling weak because you may genuinely feel that this person is um long-term commitment marriage material or you are married to this person or have been in a long-term commit commitment with them and i feel that you see that this person is divinely guided into your life with the two of coins i feel that many of you um what what whatever it is that you need to let go bring some sort of peace i feel with the two of coins in reverse so the two of coins face up is being really unbalanced uncertain anxious but many of you it feels as if this conversation like when you be real with yourself do that deep dive it's like you're going to be prepared to reciprocate this conversation with the six of coins in reverse i feel that many of you um oh wow okay many of you don't really want to give to this connection the king of wands yet yeah, blocking taking any action so it feels as if this person is going to you're going to let this person come towards you the emperor uh aquarius for some reason i mean you could be dealing with the aries or you could have aries in your chart uh leo taurus capricorn are all coming out here but these cards are all weak weak blocking change and this is you just feeling really um, unbalanced about your environment, your what you've created with this person. So there's a lot of, I mean, I, I don't think that this is a coincidence. All these cards came out in reverse because bottom of the deck, three, three of coins. Um, so there's work that needs to be put in here. So the deck wasn't upside down those cards came out upside down for a reason and it feels as if this is you're just feeling very very weak if it is that you want to be around this person and celebrate this connection but there's something that has gone on that could be a third party energy either um either you're spending too much time on work um or you're not giving this person you're operating from a place of uh, fear or anxiety that they may not feel the same way towards you but you've been with this person for a long time that could be the third party energy or it could be genuinely another th a, a, a third person in the connection but it's got you feeling really really weak really really weak and that's why i feel that whatever it is that needs to forgiveness came up in your channel's message either to forgive yourself or forgive this person but the key thing is for you to be real with yourself because whatever it is that needs to be healed in this connection is something that requires spiritual healing and so whatever this weakness is and blockage and delays are it's almost as if you're being guided to bring some but like balance yourself out bring some merriment some joy some laughter, some goofing off. And I feel that that will help to let go whatever it is that's going on between you and this person. 
holding your peace, bringing peace to the situation. But it is going to require setting those healthy boundaries because I feel that this person is going to like take take a little bit of a low jab at you or say something that's a little bit sarcastic. And I feel as soon as they say it, they're going to regret it because um, your channeled message clearly said that this person is going to want to bring about peace. They want to clear something up. They may want to clear up why they said what they said in such a, you know, cutting way. Let's see what you... Oh, look, renew. So your advice is nature continually renews itself year after year. So I feel that um, you and this person are definitely going through a transition of this relationship. Um moving to the next stage but there's something that needs to be renewed something that needs to be healed something it's like the two of you need to be real with one another you've definitely been with this person for a while it's like year after year there's something new there's something different that pops up but there's something underlying um in this person's energy that's that that's really kind of toxic or low vibrational and it feels as if year after year it's been bubbling and bubbling and bubbling and this week they may just say something really kind of deep cutting and if you guys if there is a third party whether or not it is i don't know work you know um I don't know, something going on with you or an actual third person, it's like it's going to really, it's going to really, whatever they say, it's going to strike you. It's going to hit you like, oh, okay, hold on a minute. L let me take a bit of a deep dive of this. Because you're not going to, you're not going to bite. You're not going to bite, but you're definitely going to reflect on it. And I feel that that is you being real to yourself. And as you go through this transition, I feel that you're being guided to have have that balance of being playful, bringing some lightheartedness, but also um, showing some some compassion to this person. That's what's going to bring about this peace. Let's continue. Oh, look at that. Let go. Yeah. Enjoy the pulse in light of the firefly, but don't hold on too tight. And I feel that that is letting go of whatever it is they've got to say or whatever it is they're going to say. That's kind of like, you know, it's like you want to say to this person, just get straight to the point. What's what's your what's your beef? You know, do you think I'm cheating on you? Do you think I'm spending too much time at work? Do you think I'm not giving you enough attention? It's like, let go, like, you need to let it go and not hold on to overthinking what you think they're trying to say to you. It's like it needs to be spoken, but there's a period that you almost need to retreat to put that healthy boundary around you so that you can be real with yourself because your heart will tell you exactly what this person is digging you about and so therefore you will know by being real it's like by asking your spirit team to help you and ask for that help how you can bring peace and compassion into this connection how can you forgive this person for saying something really you know a bit obtuse to you so that you can bring peace to the situation and move on and then dance. Well, many of you will do it, okay? Allow yourself some, look at this, I can't even make it up. Allow yourself some fun each day, just as the sun dances with the moon each night. This is 100% letting you know, in the midst of whatever this um, dig that this person is gonna say or do, towards you it's almost like it's time now to be real it's time to um come to this person uh reciprocate communication and be real almost have a heart to heart but before you do that you need to be real with yourself because whatever needs to be healed here is of a spiritual nature 
And then it's almost like you'll be able to have that conversation, which I feel many of you will do. All right. And as you do that, you know, just remember to bring that merriment. Yeah. Be playful. Dance. Allow yourself some fun. Allow yourself to be a bit silly, to goof off a little bit, to bring, like raise that vibration in, in, in your energy space around your home or um, if you live with this person uh, around your home, even if you're on your own, but you've been in a relationship with this person, is that you need to bring that um, fun, playful, lighthearted energy in your home. And that's where these boundaries are coming in because you guys are definitely going through a transformation but you may be going through a transformation that requires healing okay and just remember your channeled message aquarius you are a lot stronger than you realize okay i'm going to leave that there for you aquarius if it resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye